take a run or a ride to save kids from homelessness. Kim Sisson is here from Stand Up For Kids to tell us about this fun event. Welcome, Kim. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thanks so much for being here. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about some of the services you provide for homeless kids. Stand Up For Kids is primarily street outreach in Tucson. So what we do is we take food and hygiene and socks, different, different survival needs out into the street, meet kids that are living there, and try to build a relationship with them. Now, how many homeless kids, when you say kids, what age group are you talking about? We have seen very young kids, but we primarily serve 24 and under. So um, any, anywhere in that age, if there's somebody a little bit older, we try to help them too. But most of our resources are with youth, youth agencies in Tucson. So. so kids, young adults. Mm -hmm. Now, how many do we have here in Tucson, would you we say? Have a lot. We have a, a lot. lot. We have a very small volunteer base. We're 100% volunteer in Tucson. So. Wow. Um, we go out twice a week and we see 30 to 50 kids when we go out. We're going in a very small area. So the more volunteers we have, the more area that we can serve. Where is it focused? Because I know the event we're going to talk about is in Corona Day Tucson. It is. It and is. so where does your outreach go? What parts of town? Our, out our outreach is in Tucson. Um, you know, we go in. We, we stay in consistent areas. We always go back to the same places so that we see the same kids and they know where to find us. Um, but there's kids everywhere in Tucson. There's no place in the city that I haven't been that I haven't seen somebody. So. And by and large, what is it a result of? Why, why are the kids turning to the streets? Um, there's a lot of different reasons. As many different kids as there are, that's how many different reasons there are. A lot of them just unfortunately feel that it's safer on the street than it is where they came from. So. Mm. It's, yeah, it's a difficult situation. Now, you have an event coming up. We do. Can you tell us a little bit about your fundraiser? It's a poker ride and bike night, so it's an all-day event. It begins at 8 o'clock in the morning. I think the first, first registration's at 9. The first bike out is 10 o'clock. The last one in is at 5, but there'll be vendors, live music, raffles, prizes. It really is a family event for the whole day. And we're looking at some pictures. So when you say bikes, you mean motorcycles. I do, <laughs> I do, I do, yes. It's sponsored by the American Legion 109. So um, it's a great group. They've helped us. Our first ones last year it was really successful. They were wonderful. Mm. wonderful. So, so is yeah. this like a Texas Hold'em poker tournament it, kind of thing? You, there's five different locations. You ride to those locations you get a couple more cards when you get back is when you find out what you've got and there's oh, a, wow. yeah you win That's there's a low hand winner a high hand winner 50 50 um, raffles so excellent now wait you, what do you mean when you get back you find out what you've got you're you're making a loop you're riding a loop and you end back at one post 109 which is where the vendors will be set up the mm -hmm. band will be playing yeah. Oh, that sounds so fun. Okay. It is. It's now, a lot of fun. Do you know who the musicians are, the band that's going to be there, any of the vendors that we can expect? You know what? I don't, um, but I know the music was great last year, and I know that there's a band playing from 4 until 8, so. Oh, live yeah. music. Can't I know, that. I know. And I how know. much is it to register? $20 for one rider, 25 for two. You can pre-register online, and I think you have their website somewhere, so. We sure do. Mm -hmm. Now, you were saying you're volunteer-based. What if somebody yeah. wanted to volunteer? What's the best way to get in touch Go to our you? website, standupforkids.org, or you can call us. It's 520-271-5369. Excellent. And whose idea was it to get right to the heart of what people want to do? You know, if you're going to have a fundraiser, mm -hmm. you might as well have an event that people want to go and really have a blast at. Exactly, exactly. And well, just playing poker and having a good time listening to music, I think you've really got <laughs> I, poker. Well, it wasn't my idea. One of our volunteers, <laughs> Sherry Barton, came up with it. She's part of the American Legion 109, and we have a number of volunteers from there as well. There's four or five people that volunteer with us from that organization. So. Excellent. Kim, I'm mm -hmm. curious, what's, what would you say is the most difficult part of your job this organization has? Um, I would say probably lack of services in Tucson. You know, we, we really try to meet the kids where they are. We ask them what they need the most. We, um, it isn't, there's not one solution to any problem. And so when they're ready for help, trying to find the services available, space um, to people that can help them is really, really difficult in Tucson. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Kim. It sounds Thank like a great event. Us. Thank you for having us. The Stand Up for Kids second annual poker run and bike night is Saturday, May 10th. To learn more about the run, just call 271-5369 or go online to standupforkids.org slash Tucson. Again, that's 271-5369 or standupforkids.org slash Tucson. Still ahead on the Morning Blend, we'll tell you about a movie that will have you grossed out and laughing your tookus off. Plus, our next guest is here to share every girl's fantasy. It involves bags and bellinis. Join us right after the break.